Today we'll talk about a movie that destroys the myth of female friendship and will show that when a handsome guy is around, there is fierce competition even between girlfriends. The way the guy used his girlfriends made the girls reconsider their relationship. Is there a real female friendship if a handsome guy appears between the best friends with whom the girls want to have fun? Watching the retelling to the end, you will find out what can happen when every girl wants to get what she wants. How long can a bachelor resist two beauties? About this you will learn fully immersed in this retelling. Enjoy the movie. Kate is a school teacher of English, discussing with children one work. She tries to cheer up the students but they are still bored. Suddenly she notices a student on the last desk who is reading something and offers to read it to the whole class. The guy starts reading comics and the lesson takes on a whole different coloring. Meg sells cosmetics and tries to sign a contract with a large firm. The girl demonstrates the best side of cosmetics, applying it to her lips, which immediately begin to burn. That's when she asks for the name of the comic book. Turns out it's manga. This comic is not really for children, so everyone listens to it with interest. As it turns out, the school principal named Mose also sees it. The principal calls Kate into his office to discuss what happened in class. He also suggests that Kate voluntarily resign from the school to avoid paying her severance pay. After the director of the firm finds out that the cosmetics are from North Korea, the girl is immediately given to understand that she will not get a contract for cooperation. They split up and Maggie runs to wash off the cream. We see that the high school friends have become roommates. During the dance, Meg tells her friend that when they were opening the labels of all the boxes of cosmetics, they missed one, so she didn't get the contract plus her car was stolen. Meg wonders how school's going, and Kate admits she was asked to quit. After Meg supports her friend, the cab driver who gave Meg a ride home suddenly comes out. She gives him some clothes and he leaves. The friends are drinking wine and watching their favorite show. They discuss the guys in the show and wish they had one in their lives. After Kate says she could do a commercial like this, Meg smiles and says that the girlfriends don't have the fighting spirit to fight the competition. The girls discuss the main character of the show. They dream of a real-life adventure. It turns out that Meg wants to get a firefighter. Kate tells her friend that she has a fighting spirit. Kate proves it the first chance she gets. The friend goes to bed, but Meg watches the show to the end. Late at night, Meg wakes Kate up to tell her that they are losers and need to make some changes in their lives. Kate doesn't realize what's going on as her brain is still asleep. Here a friend tells her that she has spent all of Miles and Kate and they are leaving in three hours to go to a beach in Florida. They quickly pack their bags and head to the airport. They are running late, but when they get there, they see a huge line. Meg has a plan to get on the plane without waiting in line. She sees a guy who can help them and decides to like him to get them in line. But the check-in clerk asks if the girl has a first-class card. So Meg makes up a card in her suitcase and starts looking. She shows her underwear and says she forgot the card. The guy's already full of energy. Meg gives him a couple compliments. He likes it and the girl leaves back the line. But Meg knew what was coming. Suddenly the guy calls them to check in. When she wanted to get on the plane Meg had too much liquid to get rid of and decided to drink it all. After they get on the plane, Meg calms her friend down since Kate is afraid of flying and makes her take a sleeping pill. A little while later, Ryan comes up to them and flies with them. His seat turns out to be between the friends, which they are very happy about as the guy is cute and Meg realized that the flight will not be boring. Kate couldn't take her eyes off Ryan either as he has great abs. Meg took off her clothes to show off her shape and turned her back and exhaled as she smelled the odor in her mouth after the soda. The flight attendant smelled it. Meg meets a guy and finds out he's going to a wedding. Kate tries to attract the guy because she doesn't want to give in to her friend. They're having a duel for Ryan's attention. Each of the girls is trying to make a point. The sleeping pills start to take effect and Kate starts to fall asleep. The guy puts on headphones to take his mind off the girls. A little later it turns out that a hurricane is approaching on the plane's path, and it is reported that they have to make a premature landing in another city. The flight attendant comes in again and again smells the harsh breath coming from Meg's mouth. He tells the girls that they need to lift the seat and helps Kate do it. But since she's asleep, she bumps her head against her neighbor and lies down on Ryan. The passengers are taken to the hotel. Noosh meets them and informs them that Meg's luggage was lost. He offers to put the friends together as the hotel is fully occupied. On the way to the room alone, they meet Ryan, who has settled in the same hotel and goes to the gym. The guy tells them he won't make it to the bachelor party in time. 
he suggests meeting at a bar in the evening and the girls agree. Once in the room, the girls discuss the upcoming night with Ryan and say that one of them will have better luck. Meg remembers that her luggage is lost and asks Kate for a dress, but since the dress is the only one she refuses her friend. Meg searches for options on where to find the dress and convinces Anoush to get her the dress urgently. In the evening Kate is the first to meet Ryan, and he compliments her on a couple of things that the girl likes. A few seconds later Meg walks into the restaurant in a fancy dress and the guy notices it, immediately switching to the girl. While Brian went to make reservations, a couple of men came over to meet the girl. They appear to be jewelers and Craig is the first to meet his friends. Meg introduces herself as undercover federal agents and scares the men, as Shaha has some kind of prod showing. She knocks the bag out of her hands and it goes straight to the flight attendant's desk. Ryan finds a table in pleasant company. As it turns out, Roger and Nancy are on the same plane. Ryan sees that the hurricane is getting worse and the guy won't be able to make it to the wedding rehearsal. His friends reassure him. The guy asks Meg what she does for a job and she makes up that she's a cosmetic CEO. Kate says she's a teacher at a special school and the guy is thrilled. He sadly says he's just a simple fireman. As we remember, that's what the girls were talking about at the beginning of the movie, that they wanted firemen. They start dancing and draw attention to themselves. They both dance and realize it's competition. On the dance floor, the flight attendant shows what real dancing is. Meg wants to dance with Ryan, so she shows the guy her dance. She spins hard and one of her treasures falls out. She doesn't feel it and Kate tries to tell her friend. Craig comes to the rescue. Driving to the room, Ryan invites to see the city. Kate decides to go up with her boyfriend to get some ice. Meg realizes what's up and finds a reason to join them. While the girls argue, Ryan leaves. On the way back to the room, the girlfriends say they have a crush on the guy and Kate won't agree to give in to it. In the morning, they offer the guy a choice of where to go to see the city. He chooses a hot air balloon ride. Meg says her friend is afraid of heights, to which Kate disagrees and says it's okay and she'll go on the hot air balloon ride too. When Kate arrives, she notices that the one who will control the balloon has only one eye and she asks him if the man can see well. And he says yes. They begin their flight. Kate is terrified of heights. Ryan notices that Kate is sweating and the girl says you're just hot. The man says it will get cooler when they get above 600 meters. The girl asks what the altitude is now and the man says 150 meters. Kate's getting worse. She has a panic attack and demands to come down to the ground. The guy calms the girl down. Meg gets bored and realizes the flight is a failure. So she buys champagne and tries to open it and disappears into the man's only seeing eye. Everyone panics. The man says they will board early and asks which of the passengers knows how to operate the balloon and Kate panics. After they land everyone gets out of the basket. After getting to the hotel, Anoush says they found Meg's luggage. Ryan is going to go swimming in the pool. Girlfriends join him. The girls put on their swimsuits and Meg leaves. Kate realizes she's losing to her rival and decides to upgrade her costume. Meg is the first to arrive and calls Ryan to join her. But between them is Craig, who walks up to the girl and joins her with the other men. At this point, Kate comes out and calls Ryan over to her place to sunbathe on the Chase Lounge and the guy agrees. Meg sees that Kate has made the perfect swimsuit and is jealous of her friend. Meg suggests we go swimming in the pool. The girls argue over who is better at jumping, but since they were judged by Meg's dad when they were kids, it wasn't fair. Ryan offers to get a rematch right now, and so they begin the competition. Demonstrating their jumps more and more men are watching. Meg fails to jump and hits the water, then they head to the room. Afterward, they meet at the bar. Nancy comes up to them and tells them that the hurricane is subsiding, which they are not very happy about. Nancy tells them that her Roger is leaving for his family, and the girls are shocked because they thought they were husband and wife. The woman tells the girls to take whatever they want at any cost and leaves. The girlfriends notice Ryan leaving and run after him. As it turns out they rented a car with Craig to get to their destination twice, and the girls decide to go with them to win the guy over. They all hit the road together. To have fun on the road they play games, having as much fun as they can dancing and getting to know each other better. Meg moisturizes Ryan's hands, her friend doesn't like it. She decides to show a picture of Meg as a child to push the guy away. So Kate talks about how her friend was called names as a kid because of that helmet and the guys laugh it off. But Meg is pissed. After getting to the gas station Kate goes to the bathroom, as we see it is very ugly and dirty. 
Suddenly she hears someone shut the door. Turns out it's her friend getting revenge for her childhood nicknames. While Meg and Ryan are drinking wine, a friend tries to get out. She falls and gets herself all messed up. While Ryan is on the phone, Craig tries to get the girl to like him, but Meg ignores him and goes to Ryan. As the couple talks we see Kate climb out the window and fall right into the garbage. They try to help her and the girl is very angry as she stinks she is completely wet. Kate washes herself with a hose and screams. After she washed up, they continued on their way. Kate reveals that her neck hurts. Ryan offers to give her a massage, which she is very happy about and screams with delight. To stop this, Meg puts sleeping pills in a bottle and offers her friend a drink, but she refuses. Craig snatches the bottle, but the girl can't get it back. She realizes what's about to happen and offers to take over driving, but the guy refuses and suggests that everyone sleep while he drives. When everyone is asleep, Craig falls asleep a moment later, they crash into a road sign and everyone wakes up. Upon reaching the hotel Kate notices that the bottle had sleeping pills in it. They find out that they can't leave this town until morning, so they take three rooms and go to rest. The friends go to different rooms. Later, Meg goes to a bar for a drink and Craig joins her. The guy makes a joke and Meg smiles. At the same time, Ryan meets Kate and says he's wanted to be alone with a girl for a long time and kisses her. They continue to get to know each other and they can't stop. Ryan keeps asking if she likes it and Kate is completely satisfied. At the same time Craig tries to win Meg over, but since the girl doesn't pay attention to him he gives up. Before he leaves he tells her that in the work of a jeweler every girl is looking only for diamonds, not noticing all the other stunning stones. The friends meet in the morning and Meg suggests that the rivalry should cease, as Kate is the most precious person to her. Kate realizes that Ryan slept with them as Meg has given a few details. Here Craig walks in and informs her that Ryan has stolen a car. Girlfriends start to fight. Kate argues with her friend and they start throwing food. They both fall to the floor and are stopped by a hotel employee. After the police arrive and find out that the guy slept with the girls and stole the car. The girls are asked Ryan's last name but they don't know. Craig remembers that Ryan accepted his friend request and shows his contacts on his phone. Turns out the guy really was on his way to the wedding, only without saying the wedding was his. The girls are shocked and want to warn the bride. They convince the police to understand and let him go. The girls order a cab and the two of them set off together. When they get to the hotel where the wedding is taking place, they recognize the hall where the event is taking place. Well, when they enter it and try to stop the ceremony from starting, they later find out it's the wrong wedding. They crash the wedding and find out there's another ceremony at the hotel. They find Ryan. The guy convinces her not to admit what happened and not to disrupt the wedding. He says that the girls were hitting on him from the first minute they met and he helped them. The girls are very angry with him, but he convinces them not to disrupt his wedding. They are interrupted by Ryan's fiance named Genevieve, who immediately puts Ryan in his place. The girls realize that the biggest punishment for Ryan is his new wife. The girls don't tell the truth, instead complimenting the bride on her dress and saying goodbye. Meg decides to find Craig and continue to communicate and asks for his forgiveness. He is happy about it, and the girl shows that she is ready to start a relationship with him. Back at the airport, Meg proposes to live separately to become more independent, which Kate is happy about and supports her friend. Upon arrival, Kate works at the school again. Same student who read manga comes up to her and shows her his drawings. Principal Mo sees Kate and offers her a new position, which she is very surprised about as she assumed he wanted to fire her. She shows the comic book to the principal, saying that she needs support for the new club and announces that she is ready to leave if she doesn't get it and is happy to be back at school. Meg continues her long-distance relationship with Craig and encourages her to meet him. The girlfriends watch their favorite show and are happy about what happened.